What's up everybody, welcome back. Thank you so much for taking the time to hang out. EMT here and in this video, we're taking out for a spin the Freewell Sherpa system for your smartphone. And we're gonna share a couple tips on how to get cinematic video with the Sherpa system. Let's dive right in. The starter kit Sherpa will set you back 169 US dollars as of the time of this video. And this kit includes the case, your grip, and a VND filter. And that's a beautiful thing about this whole system is that you can start as low as $29 for a case and you can start adding different pieces to scale up according to your needs. I love the case because you don't lose the MagSafe compatibility on your iPhone. So you do have the ability to leverage those accessories, especially chargers. The starter kit also includes a Bluetooth selfie grip. And this thing is awesome. Not only it has a Bluetooth enabled shutter for you to be able to take photos and videos with your smartphone, but this thing is feature packed. It's like a transformer. It has a cold shoe mount. It expands to fit many different sizes of iPhone. It has mounts and it also extends. Yes, this thing articulates and it allows you to use this as a selfie stick or articulation for record yourself or record hard to reach places. This gives you the ability to get a little bit more distance and be able to capture yourself or other elements that you're trying to capture a lot easier. When I first started using it, I was like, oh yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a pretty decent looking phone grip with a shutter and no, it actually extends and it's like a full system right into the grip and I'm very impressed about that specific design. Now going straight to the meat and potatoes of this system and why I feel everyone that's serious about creating higher quality cinematic video on their smartphones should consider the Sherpa system is because of its magnetic mounting approach. And we have the capability not only to test the variable neutral density filter or VND filter, which is amazing, but we also have the ability to test the circular polarizer as well as their mist filters. And on top of that, we also got their anamorphic lens with the different neutral density filters for that lens. So buckle up with the starter kit. I feel that that's a phenomenal place and phenomenal value to start with because you get the case, you get the grip, and then you also have this variable neutral density filter from uh, one to five stops. And you just simply rotate this filter to change the intensity. Think of the neutral density filter as sunglasses for your camera. If you're trying to capture cinematic video, you have to capture motion the way the human eye perceives it. And there are rules for this. The 180 degree shutter rule, for example, technically speaking, your frame rate should be double your shutter speed. So if you're shooting at 30 frames per second, technically speaking, you should be filming at 1 60th of a second shutter speed. So you should double up that frame rate in terms of shutter speed. And if you're filming at 24, you should be at 48 or 50 and so on. You kind of get the idea. Problem is, is that when you are in a super bright environment, your phone will automatically change that shutter speed to compensate for that bright environment. So this is why you bring these neutral density filters in order to match the different lighting environments. So I took the Freewell VND out for a spin in the Sherpa system. So you can see how easy it is to capture cinematic video and we leveraged Filmic Pro to be able to change my shutter speed to whatever I needed for that specific environment.
very, very impressed with the quality of video that I'm getting with these filters. Not only I'm getting that motion, right, that cinematic motion that we're looking for in order to capture that higher quality looking video, but I'm also getting a little bit of contrast and a little bit warmth and saturation on my clips. Whether your intention is to capture cinematic video or you just simply want a little extra pop of color without editing after the fact too much or whatnot, these filters are definitely gonna hit the spot. And better yet, the Sherpa system, just magnetically attach it to the case. I think it's a genius, genius approach to adding filters and lenses to your phone. Now, a little bit later, we took out for a spin the mist filter. And what this is going to do is diffuse your lighting sources and give you that gloomy, uh, vintage look. But this is also very useful for softening skin tones and capture a little bit of drama in your videos. Let's take a look. I had a lot of fun shooting with the mist filter. That diffusion looks amazing. It makes it look like an old vintage film, but at the same time, once again, it's just modern in terms of the way that you approach uh, these filters to mounting and removing. It was super quick and easy to switch back and forth between them. We also took out for a spin the circular polarizer filter. And this filter is really cool and very simple. It allows you to cut through reflection and glare. Now take a look at this X-Wing video for example. You can probably see some reflection or glare uh, around the body and some of the extra elements around the scene here. But when we use a free will circular polarizer filter, you can actually cut through that reflection, that glare and actually see inside the cockpit, which is awesome. And also take a look at some of the contrast and the elements in the foreground and just the body of the X-Wing as well. You can kind of see a little bit more of a, of a cut through a little bit better color and better contrast reproduction there. So now before we continue, I want to know what you think. Let me know in the comments section, which is your favorite filter? Are you a fan of the VND? Are you a fan of the mist filter that diffuses those light sources and creates a dramatic bloom effect around light sources? Or uh, do you like the circular polarizer? Which one do you feel hits the spot for your type of filming? Or are you a fan of all? Let me know in the comments section down below. And last, but definitely not the least, Freewell also included their anamorphic lens kit. And this thing looks really sick, I gotta say. it. And this anamorphic lens brings a 1.55x anamorphic field of view, which is very, very wide. And not only the Freewell case allows you to mount the Sherpa magnetic filters, but also these type of lenses to simply attach it and twist it in order to secure it. And the lens also has threading for their own filters. So you can add neutral density filters as well. So we also took the anamorphic lens to the roof. And after that, we took the anamorphic lens to Disneyland to get some awesome cinematic lens flares that the anamorphic lens is known for. Gotta love those lens flares. Now, in order to take advantage of the anamorphic lens, if you end up getting the Mega Kid or you later on add up that free will anamorphic lens, which is pretty awesome, I recommend leveraging an application like Filmic Pro that allows you to de squeeze the video. If you get the anamorphic lens and attach it to your case and start filming, you're gonna notice that people are really, really squeezed and tall. And applications like Filmic Pro have a setting that allow you to stretch and de squeeze that footage using the 1.55x anamorphic preset. Now having said all these things, uh, the Freewell Magnetic Sherpa system, it's a self-contained system and it's scalable. You can actually just simply start 
with just a case and a filter, but then later on, as your journey unfolds and as your needs as a filmmaker continue to scale, you can just simply add more of these elements as you see fit. I'm very happy that I had the opportunity to take these with me and now they're becoming a part of my arsenal because it's such an easy kit to travel with, such a small but very powerful because you can use this thing as a tripod, as a selfie stick, and you can get that cinematic footage in a very incognito form. It doesn't speak, oh, I'm a filmmaker, I'm out filming people or doing these and that. It's very, very discreet and I like that the whole thing fits in my pockets. But I wanna know what you think. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below if you have any questions or suggestions drop them down there so we can continue to create relevant content for you. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. All the links to the Freewell Sherpa systems are down in the description. And as always, thank you so much for sharing your time with me. I'll catch you on the next one.